let's talk about the councils and the creeds a bit. And I think there are some who might think that the creeds were attempts at sort of uh, explaining and rationalizing what was uh, mysterious, you know, the, the uh, mystery of the faith. And so how would you respond to that? Yeah, my constant experience in teaching the early church creed, such as uh, the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, and then there was the Chalcedonian definition, which is really a long footnote to the Nicene Creed. Then there's the Athanasian Creed. But the Nicene Creed, written in 325 and again in 381, which really expresses the Trinity, has some language in it that many students and many people in churches just hear and go, what? That's not biblical language, you know? And so they're confused. Why, why are these authoritative in any sense? Why even accord them secondary authority as I do? And the main objection is that many people read them or hear them and think that they're rationalizing, which is what, what is basically mysterious. And people want to embrace the mystery of God, and that's, that's wonderful. But what I have to explain to people is these early church fathers who met in these councils and wrote these creeds were not trying to, to explode the mystery or over-rationalize the mystery of God, for example. They were trying to protect it from heresies that had arisen in the church that if followed would have destroyed the mystery. All the heresies were over-rationalizing the mystery of our faith and the creeds were trying to protect it. Absolutely.